Alright guys. We're back and we're gonna hop straight back into the animus, start playing Good as luck, Connor Desmond. again. Ain't nothing about luck, girl. It's a skill. These are troubled times. The already uneasy alliance between the crown and its subjects frays. And behind them both the Templars plot, pulling strings and moving pieces. History dictates they seek order through control. But how will they affect it here? Who supports them? And what conspiracies have they already spun? All these things I must determine. For only by knowing my enemy can I hope to stop them. Alright, let's get into it. Davenport Homestead, 1773. Connor! Spare a moment. Of course. Have a look. What is it? Xing Bao, or rope dart, if you prefer. One of the many plans given to us by Xiao Yun to... <sighs> Sorry. We'll have to work on this. By Xiao Yun? That's what the girl Ezio trained, I think. Ganondogo. Yes, my friend. What brings you here? Is the village all right? For now. What do you mean? What has happened? Men came, him. claiming we had no, to leave. No, no, no. They said that the land was being sold, and that the Confederacy had consented. We sent an envoy, but they would not listen. You must refuse! We cannot oppose the Satcham, but you're right as well. We cannot give up our home. Do you have a name? Do you know who is responsible? He is called William Johnson. Where is Johnson now? In Boston, making preparations for the sale. Sale? This is theft! Connor, take care. These men are powerful. What would you have me do? I made a promise to my people. If you insist upon this course of action, seek out Sam Adams in Boston. You'll be able to help. What have you done? Yeah, when my knows. people go to war, a hatchet is buried into a post to signify its start. When the threat is ended, the hatchet is removed. Uh, you could have used a tree. <laughs> so, so wait. Does that mean after all this happens, we get that hatchet right there? I mean, I like our hatchet. Like, Connor's basic hatchet is really good. Okay, so let's see everything we have real quick. We got our, we got rope darts, we got poison darts, trip mine, snares, bait, we got horse whistle now, which is good. I'm gonna assign the horse whistle there. Uh, we got a bow, we got a pistol. Of course we're gonna be using the bow the most. And then we got a hidden blade and our tomahawk. Okay. Um... What do I want to do is the question. So, homestead mission. Maybe we'll just run around doing homestead missions later in the game after we beat it. Because I'm going to go back in to Revelations af probably soon, actually, and get those Desmond missions done. Because Desmond has his own sequences that take place in the modern day. And I knew nothing about them until I went back and looked at the trophies for the game. Because I'm trying to 100% that Brotherhood and, uh... And, uh, my god. And, uh, try to 100% Assassin's Creed 2, Brotherhood, and Revelations. I don't know why that was so hard for me to say, but it was. So, oh, yeah, so there's some outfits and some stuff we can buy. That's stores in town. We'll hit up a general store as soon as we get into town, see if we have stuff to sell, things like that. I'm not really going to worry too much about upgrading our ship either because that's not really something I'm focused on. You know what I mean? So. Alright. Let's ride to Boston. 
because I think, wait, are we in the frontier or are we in Boston? Okay, no, we're in Boston. No, we're in the frontier still, actually. We have to go through the frontier to get to Boston? Can I just fast travel straight to Boston? I can. That, that's, that's better. I'd rather just do that. I don't know why I didn't check to see if I could do that. That's my bad, guys. I'm sorry. Don't mean to waste your time right here. I will be playing that for sure. <laughs> Alright. I want to head before we do any mission. Oh, yeah. See, store. I want to head over there and see what the store has for us. Plus, we just need to get ammo anyway. I forgot you could do that. I think this is the only game, too, that has that. And it's just, like, there's not really a point for it unless you just don't want to climb. If you see an open way, then, yeah, go for it by all means. But they're not really that important. It's kind of a waste. I'm not trying to climb. Alright. Uh, let's head into the store and see what he has cuz I'm gonna sell Cuz we have some stuff we should be able to sell actually would like. So if we go to the accounting book we can yeah, yeah cuz we saw all the stuff from I Don't think I really need any of this right now. So if I sell everything I get fat stack of cash get that all out of my inventory buy so yeah you can buy quite a bit here so outfits New York oh that thing's clean Baltimore outfit not as cool but New York so clean that reminds me of a lot of core uh, core Shay Cormac Boston outfit uh, isn't that that looks like his mom off it just with some red Jamestown, not bad. Philadelphia outfit. So I'm assuming once you visit these places, you can buy those. Charleston outfit. Assassin outfit. Much of what we have. And then these are all... Because you can get, like, every outfit. I should go through these real quick. So Ezio, Ubisoft Club. Altair's Ubisoft... Oh, no. Chief Full Sync. That's how you get Altair's in this game. Prisoner outfit. Complete Sequence 8. Achilles, Achilles original outfit. Complete all homestead missions. Captain Kid's outfit. Ooh, complete all uh, all peg leg. Captain of Achilles uniform. Achilles. I don't remember what it was. Complete sequence six. I'm not gonna pronounce that. Traditional colonial assassin. That's what they look like. Yo, they look gay as hell. Animal Spirit, Bayex Outfit, Shea Cormax. Yeah, Shea's is pretty clean. Jacob Fries. Jacob's in, isn't that cool. Edwards, Arnos, Alexios. These don't belong, but okay. And then Aguilar. Okay, wait. Um, How much is this one? I mean, what does the normal assassin one look like? Oh, wait, so the Boston one's like a cleaned up version of it, pretty much. I'm gonna go with the Jamestown. I like the red. Oh, no, 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 go back. I didn't realize it was 1500. I'm gonna wait on that. I need arrows for sure. Uh, yeah, max arrows. Uh, those aren't arrows, but that works. Max arrows. Arrows are cheaper than bullets, too, I think, right there they were. So, that's pretty much going to debate on what I do. Double barrel flint, double barrel pistol. What? French coat pistol, English flintlock, royal pistol, naval duck. Oh, my God. <laughs> Italian flintlock. That thing's long. That thing probably has really good range, huh? Yeah. Royal Navy Sea. Oh, that thing looks cool. Pirate flintlock, that's the go-to. Scottish flintlock. They, 
I hope that the Assassin's Creed that's coming out, they share the... I don't even know the name of it anymore. I really don't know the name of it anymore. But I hope it's, um... I hope it's like, uh... So we have the Assassin Tomahawk. Dirk? War Tomahawk. Broken Sword Knife. Yeah, so you do get the War Tomahawk. Ah. Okay. Okay. I got that. Iron Tomahawk. And then Stone. I, why, why is the Assassin Tomahawk the strongest? Like, it's the coolest. And then Normal Weapons is what? Swords? Yeah. There's not really any good swords. The Captain Kid's cool. That thing was cool. Washington's Battle Sword? That's dope. Lincoln Sword. Oh, these are replicas. It got to let you know these are replicas. Sweet. I'm not really going to use a sword, man. I'm going to use the Tomahawk. And then... The counting book, I guess. Is there any crafting we can do? No, you can't do any crafting. But what we can do is trading. Oh, wait. Yeah, no, there's no crafting. Stockpile. Purchase. Purchase. Uh, did I just spend all my money on that? I don't know. I'm just gonna buy out everything on here. And then what we're gonna do is go to trading. Right? And then we're gonna do... One charcoal. We're gonna... I don't think it really matters. Uh, and then we're gonna do one lumber, same, uh, different dude, and then that, just like that, right? Then we're just gonna send the convoy, get some quick cash. Hey, oh, there's risk and stuff too. Ew, ew, ew. We're not gonna get anything. <laughs> okay. Ah, uh, should I buy an outfit if I have enough for one? I mean, mind as well since we're here, right? Um, I think I was trying to say something and now I kind of forgot. Yeah, that one's fifteen hundred. The Boston outfit's pretty cheap. The brown outfit has red accents and was crafted by a Boston tailor. Oh, that Charleston one's expensive. Ah, uh, let's go with Boston. Just a. Oh yeah, no, okay, so it's brown and still like fully white. Gotcha. Let's try it out for a little. Oh yeah, no, that's way different. That's pretty cool. I like it. I think I was trying to say something and I completely forgot what it was. I think I was trying to say something before I did all that and I completely spaced out on what it is. I'm sorry we were in that store for so long too. I didn't expect to sit there actually looking through everything, but I got intrigued because I didn't really play this Assassin's Creed 2 too much. I played it too. I played it probably. I played the first like six or seven sequences like three or four times, but I never actually fully beat this game or actually just ran around and explored in it and stuff. So, yeah, this is like your main place in Boston. I'm, I'm curious to see what Philadelphia looks like, and I, I'm pretty sure New York's not all that good looking, but I'm still curious. Sorry. Um, and I wonder if there's more outfits we can unlock by crafting, which... Because I didn't see his uh, bear outfit in there. Like, one of his uh, main outfits. I didn't see that on here, so... So I can, Fort Hill is a little, like, outpost type thing we can do, I guess. Sanctions and demonstrations won't suffice, Sam. We need hey, to act. Samuel Adams. I'm talking about more than a sternly worded letter. Yeah, we spent, like, probably Hello 10, again. 20 minutes there. What brings you to Boston? You. Would you excuse us, fellows? Thank you. That conversation was about to turn unpleasant. Now, what can I do for you? I was hoping you could help me locate William Johnson. Of course. I'm headed to a meeting with some men who should be able to help. Why don't you come along? Well, it's good to Doggy. see the people finally taking a stand against injustice. Okay. Says the man who owns a slave. 
Hmm. Sorry? I practice what I preach, my friend. She's not a slave, but a freed woman. At least on paper. Men's minds are not so easily turned. It's a tragedy that for all our progress, still we cling to such barbarism. Then speak out against it. Oh, I know what I was we saying. We must focus first on defending our rights. I know what I was when saying. When this is done, we'll have the luxury of addressing these other matters. Okay. What I was trying to say is I hope that uh, the Assassin's Creed coming out this year, uh, Ragnarok you or whatever you want to call it. Your condition oh is equal to that of the slaves. It is not. I'm just going to pause it because they keep talking. What I was trying to say, though, is I hope that the Assassin's Creed that's coming out this year, Ragnarok, I hope it has something to do with Scottish or Ireland or Scotland, things like that, because I, I just love Ireland and I love Scotland. Like, I think it's great. I love Scottish and Irish accents, too. I like, as soon as we get to Rogue, bro, you, I'm going to be talking about that a lot because of Shay. But... Yeah, that's all I wanted to say is I hope it's focused around these more dense forest green green grass areas. Like Stonehenge should definitely be a part of that game. So I just hope that Ragnarok's not like Odyssey or like Origins or like any of these games. I hope it's I hope the open world's just really good is what I'm trying to say. I hope it's what people expect it to be, you know what I mean? Because it's a Tell that to, to be my a Viking neighbor game. who was compelled to quarter British troops. So or to my friend whose good. store was closed because he displeased the crown. The people here are no freer than sorry. You offer excuses instead of solutions. I pulled out my tomahawk. Hey! It's my home! No matter what you thieves call taxmen say! The gums in Parliament who want to take my property, you tell them to sail across the pond and take it themselves! It's not open for discussion. Now open this door or these men will break it down. Ah! The bollocks. We're coming in. Ah! Oh. I trust the mounting evidence is proof enough, Connor. Continue on. I shall meet you at our destination. I'm gonna deal with this. Um... Dare the governor to send more. P. You all right? I'm fine. It's not my first dance. For all their teeth and claws, these little foxes, they fight like puppies. <laughs> Thank you, my friend. I'd buy you a nail, but uh, I'm expected somewhere else. You expect it somewhere else? Bro, you got blood all over you. You gotta clean that up real quick. Okay, I got all my arrows back from looting one body. I'm fine then. I just was trying to make sure I got all my arrows. Yeah, this outfit's cool. I mean, I don't know if I prefer this outfit or Connor's original outfit. But it's definitely a cool outfit. It's different. I might change up outfits every few episodes too, just to change it up. Because I didn't really do that too much in the other games. Because... Hey, let's be honest, 2 Brotherhood and Revelations didn't really have that many great outfits, and all you would do is dye their clothes, so I didn't really, like, I wasn't really caring that much, but every few seasons from now on, pretty much, for the next few Assassin's Creed games, except for Origins and Odyssey, because those are, like, armor-based, but, um, definitely for the next few Assassin's Creeds, like this, Black Flag, Rogue, all that, Unity... So to get, I'll try to change up outfits every few seasons or every few episodes just to give you guys something a little different. And if just to let you guys know, I I walked, I took this long way because I didn't want to go through all those guards over there. This isn't a safe house, right? This is um the bar where Charles Lee and all them stay. It's Connor, like, I'd like you to meet some like-minded friends. The owner of this not. fine establishment, William Molyneux. And the manager and chef of his newest venture, Stéphane Chaffaut. Ah, Connor and I just had a ball uh, with some red coats and forcing some taxmen outside my home. The collectors grow bolder. 
and more forceful. Something we must address, Samuel. Then let us raise a banner. Something to let the people know that they are not alone. The docks are an angry place of late. Protesters picketing the latest shipments of British tea. The eyes of the city are upon that stage. A Bostonian without his tea is a dangerous beast. Boston William tea Johnson parties. is smuggling the tea off the ships. One of his men tried to sell me this. A sample of what I refused. But it's from those ships. No mistaking the stamp. He's charging a king's ransom. Must be he's making a mint off those who buy it. Where is he now? I've never met the man. May I ask why you seek him, Connor? He intends to purchase the land upon which my village stands, without the consent of my people. No doubt the revenue from his little smuggling endeavor is financing the acquisition. A tax enforced on tea grants a boon to smugglers. I'll wager the same men who levy the taxes are selling the tea. A stage requires a spectacle, and I may know the play. It's cool too, though, because I'm starting to remember some of the stuff I learned in school Connor, about all this. Head back to the docks and see to the destruction of the tea. Okay. If you should need us, return here. Yeah, that's uh, this is cool because I'm starting to remember a lot of the stuff I learned in class. And then next year I have American Revolution or American History as my social studies for the whole <sighs> year. Pardon me. Oh, come on, mate. <laughs> just runs away. What's that little symbol? Oh, is that just from where we were? Limit firearm used to zero out of six. Oh, so I can use up to six. Okay. Dispose of tax collectors, boss. So, so yeah, this get this seems like there's gonna be way more open world stuff to do at the end of the game. Do I have to do that? I don't think I have to do that, so I'm just going to not do it for right now. But this game does seem like there's way more... Er... There's way more stuff to do than the other games. I don't know if it was like this at the... When it first came out. I don't know if this stuff's like new to the remaster. But this game does feel like there's way more to do, which I like. I mean, I, right now, I'm pl already planning on going back to Assassin's Creed Revelations and uh, Brotherhood and 2, because there's a lot of stuff I want to get done in 2. I'm at 77% right now when it comes to, uh, when it comes to trophy-wise, because I'm, I'm trying to go for Platinums now, which is like a new little side thing I'm doing. Like, I'm doing it for Spider-Man right now. Um pretty much almost done. I'm just finishing up the little, uh, the, uh, what's it called? Um, jeez, uh, finishing up the regions. Loot your body real quick, bud. Just get my arrow back, thank you. I'm trying to pick up this. There we go. Uh. Bud, you might want to move back. Oh, do I have to actually, like, plant it? No, I think I can just place it down. Only gonna, I'm gonna try and only use firearms when I'm getting ready to blow those up so I can actually get these optional objectives done. But this doesn't seem like it's gonna be too, too hard. At least from the looks out of it. Dude, the bow's just so OP. It's silent and it just kills them in one hit. It's it's too good. I'm gonna loot both of them because I want my arrows back. 
You gotta stay on top of it, because if you don't, you're just gonna end up losing all your arrows. Uh, there's no thing over here. Uh, shoot. Um, I need a powder thing. Oh, there's one. Let's run over here. Drop it, pick up one of their guns, and shoot that. Shoot it. This room, uh, this outfit right here reminds me a lot of Edwards, Edward Kenway's, and AC4. Okay. Yeah, let's climb up and see if we could actually shoot them from the top of this little boat. Not little boat, it's, it's a pretty big boat. Oh! <gasps> What? We okay. We just fell through. I like this game too because I don't have to actually heal, which isn't a thing in the rest of the Assassin's Creed games. But now I don't actually have to heal anymore. Plus, um, ooh, I might just go in here and kill all of them. Just hand-to-hand -hand combat. Yeah. But this game is the first game that introduced uh, uh, auto regen health. Plus this game and all the way up to Unity. Oh wait, what? Oh, I didn't know I could do that. But um, pretty much all the way up to I I tried to use powder kegs and I hit circle on accident. Um, what was I trying to say? This all the way up to Unity, cause Unity, Syndicate, Origins, and Odyssey all revolve around armor levels and stuff like that, which kind of takes you back to how Assassin's Creed used to be before this game. But this game all the way up to those. So this game, brother, uh, Black Flag, I mean, and Rogue, there's no thing like that whatsoever where you have to focus on buying armor and stuff like. All your outfits are purely cosmetic, except for there's a few that are like secret upgrades in the game. I just slit that man's throat. I don't know what I'm doing. <laughs> well, that was easy. Liberate the district from Templar influence? Okay. Oh, so this is what we saw earlier when it comes to, like, liberated regions or whatever. Okay. This seems like a very impactful mission, but it's like, I, I don't know. I feel like this mission isn't the way it's supposed to be. I don't know why. It just it doesn't. Oh, my. He was floating. This mission just doesn't seem right. I don't. I'm trying to put my finger on it. I can't really think about it. I can't really think of what it is. I feel like this mission was just supposed to be structured a little bit different. This doesn't feel right. Feels like they're just giving a lot, giving us a lot of stuff to do at, uh, at one time. I'm gonna just get rid of these guys real quick too. Easy enough. Taxation. Dispose of tax collectors. I disposed of tax collectors. What? Why did it change? Or did no? Yeah, it, no, it changed. I didn't get turned around. It legit changed. Why? Liberate the. Uh, that's yeah. It, the the objective didn't change, but it made me go in a different place. What, did it change again? No. Oh, I was just supposed to do those. Okay. That's my bad. Eee, I need I need to take down posters. Because now I'm wanted. I'm not trying to sit here doing this. Uh, okay, so wait. Liberate, liberation missions. Yeah, so I liberated this part. Disputed 90%. Towards assassins? I, I don't know. And then there's 
this one, Templar control, Templar control. Okay, and then there's hunting missions, but there's no hunting missions because this is Boston. Are these posters? Town criers. Um, that should bring down my notary quite a bit, yes? I have money. If it's over 200, that's ridiculous. It, yeah, it's only 100 to bribe them, and I go down from a notary two to incognito. So yeah, no, that's a fair deal right there. That's good. I like that. Uh, let me just double check how long I've been recording for real quick, guys. Eh, we should be able to squeeze in one more mission before this video gets too long. I don't know. I try to distribute missions equally, but it's hard to like, make episodes equal amount towards missions and things like that but it's kind of hard sometimes because I just either forget where we started and things like that like I did that the other day with Uncharted 4 when I was filming it and I just completely forgot how long I've been filming for and I ended the episode with like two minutes to an hour and it dragged on for too long but hey, that's, that wasn't wrong? my Where's fault Sam Adams? <laughs> who cares I've been robbed <laughs> what did he just speak where are you going? To get back what's rightfully mine. Alright, let's go. Limit time spent in open conflict. Well, this is gonna cause some problems, isn't it? I'm gonna double assassinate oh, them. Regardez! I will match your face to your jacket! so confused. Ces coquins me prennent mon père au Canada et voilà qu'ils me ravissent ma propriété ici. Il suffit. What is he speaking like French? Hey guys, I'm just following him. What is their problem? Yeah, they see me murder those guys. I'm assuming we're going right because I see guards to our right. Yep. What do you know? Follow the guards. Are we gonna make a left before we hit the guards, though? That's the question. We are not English. We are not the king's men. We are free. But the king sends these red coats to push us around. They are not our masters. This is our city. Let's show them who owns it. It's time to fight. He's just causing mayhem. Stefan, please, stop and listen to me. I've listened for long enough. They come into my home and take my things. I will get my revenge. The man responsible for this will pay. His friends will pay. Damn. This is just like a little escort mission, that's all this is. Oh, he's got a shotgun. Go for a dual assassination right here. You're looking for a fight, Englishman? I'll give you what you want. Come on. I don't really like escort missions, but there's a lot of them in Assassin's Creed. I don't know why, there just is. He's gonna cause a fight with these guys. Hey! Oh, no, no, no. I don't speak the language, but that booty don't need explaining it. No, I'm kidding. He doesn't have a butt. We're gonna go left where the guards are, or are you gonna just make the guards come to you? There is a way to fight injustice, but this is not it. I'm just killing guards at this point. Just low profile assassinations nonstop. I swear I remember a kid a kid like kids like talking to you and stuff nonstop, like bothering you like how the people used to do in AC2 and Brotherhood and Revelations. I s like be oh beggars, that's what it's called, beggars. 
But these kids don't seem to be doing it. I, I remember it. I was in my brain. Dude, I'm just like too clean. Just keep walking like I didn't do nothing. Destroyed? You stupid mackerel. I suppose you want me to tell Johnson his tea mm. just spontaneously combusted. Nonsense. Someone's responsible for this, and you will find out who. And if you can't, I'll gut you and find a eyes. smart who can. Oh my god. What do we do? Create a window. Uh huh? Open up three crew wheel. What is this? I do not remember this from the other game. Uh, lock on the target and press L1 to send your allies to assassinate the target. I don't remember this being in the game. Mm. Oh, bloody hell are you? <gasps> oh my god! <laughs> Why? You have no right to rob people blind. By decree of the British Parliament or not. British Parliament? I worked for William Johnson. Johnson? And his suffering clean man. Please. That's just dirty. He, he's dirty for using a clean man. But I mean, the people seem to have an ear for you. What are the things you lost? This is our first assassin. People listen to me only because I spoke the truth loud enough, which is worth 1,000 times the content of my footlocker. In the English, they can keep my things. You did well tonight. I said I'd buy you an ale when you first helped me. In place of drink, I offer you my allegiance. For what it's worth. Your first aid is assassin. welcome, and I am grateful. Now. I need to find Sam Adams. Sweet. Yeah, because Connor builds up the assassins because the assassins weren't a thing. The assassins died out. They were all killed by Shay Cormac and Haytham. They killed all the assassins in colonial America. Yeah, I don't remember that being in the game, but sweet. That's cool. So, I think I'll end the episode here, so thank you guys so much for watching this episode of Assassin's Creed 3. If you guys enjoyed, please don't forget to like, subscribe, all that good stuff. And I hope you guys stay safe, and stay good. And I'll see you guys very, very soon in the next one. Peace out.